What's up gamers, gamers and gamers? My name is John and welcome back to Lucid 9 Incident um, inciting incident last time we basically were going through our tip god lines and we met some of our coolest little friends and we met the bestest no we meet the bestest most awesomest freaking mentor ever mr. Yoto you're fucking bomb dude by the way, uh, before I even get get to it, uh, the creators that created this, they're awesome. And I checked their um, I checked their channel out, and like it's called the Falling Snow Studios. I saw like at least two of their podcasts and the like the trailers from before. Even though it, the trailers were on the game itself, guys, I recommend you play this game because it's pretty good. I give them credit. To the to them man it's fucking fantastic so far but this is only the beginning so we're gonna get more in depth to the story so I'll leave a link in the description to go follow their channel like praise them for making an awesome free game on Steam so let's continue I have my water bottle right well not water bottle water container just in case cuz my throat still kills me I will still try to do the voice though Alright, let's do this. And without another word, he shoved me out and slammed the door in my face. I have no choice but to head to the school courtyard. Oh, here we go. Alright. It doesn't take that much time uh, to find my Soto behind the track table art. Aim with I love you track fly <laughs> and I love you track uh, poster and I love track headband. Uh, I get the vague feeling that he loves track. He welcomes me enthusiastically, immediately p pilling all admin duties on me. But true to my word, I proceed to be co completely useless throughout their recruitment process. Eventually, Masoto seems to give up, handing me a simple sign to wave around. I amuse myself by coming up with the truly terrible pitches. Want a six pack? Join the track! Looking for health hacks? Join track! Get a knack? Join the track! <laughs> Ride your life? Join track! Pick up the slack? Join track! For, for reasons unknown, Masoto seems to love this. He grins and slaps me on the back. <laughs> there you go! Uh, just you need, uh, need to apply yourself, see? I'm pretty sure those glances were again from the underclassmen aren't that are um, aren't looks of admiration. Despite my obvious shortcomings, Masoto hooks four recruitments into track. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised that he got that many. A lot, a lot of the attendees of these schools are richer and lazier kids. I also noticed that he seems to be a lot easier on them than he was on me. When the club recruitment fair is done and everything torn down, Masoto and I head to the club school entrance to wait Evrio and Yohuku. Oh god, here we go. By the way, still saying my bad if I pronounce all these things wrong, uh, the names especially. Mm. For reasons unknown, Masoto is essentially chatting about my newfound enthusiasm. You killed it today, man. That's that's the kind of team spirit we need. Great. I might have just gotten myself into more trouble. Well, I guess I was in track most of the uh, last year. Might as well do it again this year. That's the spirit. Oh, well, hello. Who do we got here? Blonde girl. Um, shit. I might have to change the voice of my voice. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it was a pen on the internet. To him, and then I said, "Geezers, uh, um, geezers on gravity sticks of mother load. We could use man with your skills." <laughs> and so, and so he signed the contract with the blood of his veins, thereby permanently joining the drama club. Wow. I can't believe you're so good at recruiting people. You know what they've said to me? What? What? Something like, get a life, you, you're just in denial in, from real, about reality. Wow, fucking people are assholes, why are you saying do it for you? Could've said nicely. Well, done, 
done my socks. Use these days are so cynical. Two comes uh, to a halt. Masoto waves every other. You're here. Well, it looks like you. <coughs> Um, looks like you guys have plans. I have better leave you and Yama, I mean you and everyone else, to have some nice time to get Oh, she gets it. Well, what, what, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It is more like babysitting duty where I'm the more babysitter and I have to make sure a bunch of kids won't, you know, set the house on fire and stuff. Oh, come on. Uh, he's he's your best friend, isn't he? And your childhood friend? Yeah, but... Have you guys made a childhood promise together? Oh my god, I like that look she's giving. No, what, what, no, 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 no way. Really? Really? These kinds of things are... Uh, oh, she's even blushing. More cliche than explosions in action movie. <laughs> Michael Bay, bitch, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Well, to think of it of this way, although explosions may be cliche, they're also a uh, staple. Hmm? You can't have a proper action movie without proper explosions. That is true, actually. It's the same of same with life. You can prepare your childhood friend without a proper childhood promise. I wince. <clears throat> Does she have a mention of romance? Really? Uh, 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 oh, oh, look, there they are. I guess we better get going. Have fun storming the castle. I like that blonde chick. She's, she's cool. The girl truly skips away as Rio sprints to us for refuge. I try to smirk. <laughs> Looks like you and Akira, Akira had a productive recruitment day. Akira, Akira Kiraba, Rio's best friend. Current roommate and self-appointed matchmaker. Also, another person uh, who I don't get along with. But let's be honest, I don't get along with anyone. Yeah, that's for fucking sure. Akira was so productive, I barely had any luck. I noticed that she's the master herself, surprisingly quickly. <clears throat> quickly. Well, I guess that 10 years to make believe and drama club will do that to you. How do you... Uh, mm. How'd you guys do? We got four new recruits, recruitments, 15 leaders of fresh blood. 15 liners? Did you guys just pull that number out of your head, or is it actually legit? We have woman, cause it's legit. <clears throat> average weight, 55 kil kilograms. The average teenager has blood volume of 7%. Seven percent is our total weight. We got ourselves four new recruitments. Rio's eyes are already swimming as a raves on, seemingly unaware of the <laughs> curious glance from the freshman who pegged him as a rough thug. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Assuming no one has an enemy, we got four, 55 times four in total. Kilograms, which 220 multiply that to 0 0.07 for the weight of the blood volume ratio. Bam! 15.4. Oh my god, so much math. Round it down to 15 for a nice round number, and we got ourselves 15 liters of fresh blood. Dots. Dots. And this is why Masoto is really good at catching people off guard. I can't believe you actually calculated that. <laughs> why? It ain't no trouble. It sure sounds like it, it's trouble. Hell nah. Uh, you you should you should say. Uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, you should see what we do in honor society. Yes, honor society. Not only does he participate in it, he's the president. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, did I did I not mention he's literally good at everything? Athletics. Uh, I can't. Mm. No, oh my god, you want? I'm gonna get water. Hold on, guys. I'm not gonna tell you that. Mm. My god. <laughs> Athletics. <clears throat> Academics. Heck, probably even art. Wow, he's that good. That's cool. Except sarcasm. That's one area I can trump him in. The only area. Oh. Here. Mm. Here comes the great Yahuku Ikiari. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, sure enough, a familiar shark blonde head pops up around the corner. Yahiku's beaming, but I notice that he isn't holding the single sign up page in his hand. <laughs> good day, good day to you. Um, I mean, good day to you. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. good day to you. My pit, my pitiful pla uh, presence. You were right, just in time to witness my brilliant plan. Technically, he was the one that came to us, but I stay silent. <laughs> you see, I decided to create my own club, a club worthy of my immeasurable greatness. In other words, I should give him a different voice, but that, uh, whatever. He he got it rejected by all the other clubs. Oh boy, you're making you're making a club good for ya. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm gonna call it the Happy Club. <laughs> the happy cl <laughs> okay. Um, and it will be compromised by of minions who will follow my every bidding. I think we just witnessed the creations of a shadiest club on campus. <laughs> we, um, we will start start by taking over the school, and then Isumu, then Japan, then the entire world. Well, at least he doesn't like ambition. And once my mansion on the moon, oh my god, he's built. Uh, we'll have the do do um, dominion all over the universe itself. But he does like brains. What you guys talking about all secret like? Hmm, nothing. We were just um talking about how we haven't gone to GFC in a while. As completely unconvincing as this excuse, she successfully turns to Masi uh, Matsu, ah, Masoto's uh, attention to the food. GFC? <laughs> GFC! I like the way you think, Ryu. We better get going before dinner rush starts. He marches off humming cheerful, cheerily as Yoko blatters <clears throat> on about how amazing this new club will be. Great cover! I know. Totally, uh, totally inconspicuous. Just as inconspicuous as the time you were a kimono. Dots. Oh! <laughs> Dots. Of course you bring that up. You wanna get a tickle? What? Tickle time? You wouldn't dare. But <laughs> whenever you mention anything like about kimonos, I feel a sudden urge to tickle the nearest person. Uh, we better get going. We should follow Masoto and Yuhiko to GFC. Yeah! She speeds away before I even had a chance to stop her. I chuckled to myself as I catched up. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it off for right here for right now, guys. Right now, I'm gonna <clears throat> heal my voice a little bit more and probably get some good rest because I gotta wake up in the morning, so, yeah. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Of lucid mind incident in incident in, in Japan. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Lucid Nine. So I hope you guys have a good night, good evening, good morning from wherever you're from. So peace out and say now, guys. And don't forget check out the creators that tr uh, created this uh, beautiful, wonderful game. That's freaking awesome, and also that kills my voice at times. Yeah, link in the description. Check out Fallen Snow Studios. Alright guys, bye bye for now.